it's almost Halloween, which is my favorite time of the year, of course, because you guys know I love horror shit. I love all the scary movies on TV, even though I own most of them on DVD already. I love all the Halloween costumes, of course. Not really quite sure what I want to go as this year yet. I've got like a bunch of different ideas, but I'm leaning more towards a Mouseketeer. You know, the little shirts with the Mickey Mouse Club logo on them and the Mickey Mouse ear hats. I think that's what I'm going to do. And most of all, the haunted houses. I love getting the crap scared out of me. I love going to haunted houses. I love feeling all like like uncomfortable and spooked out and I just I love that stuff. So I'm going to haunted houses every weekend of the month. And then to top it all off, Loot Crate just announced that their theme this month is Survive, which is totally going to be all sorts of zombie stuff. I've never really done a video about my plan for the zombie apocalypse because come on, we all have plans for the zombie apocalypse, where we would go, what our plan would be, what weapons we'd use. So I figured I'd go ahead and run you through my plan for the zombie apocalypse. There's a lot of different things you have to think about with the zombie apocalypse. Um, and in my plan for the zombie apocalypse, I try to keep it as realistic as possible. I know, zombies realistic, whatever. But no, you gotta think about it realistically. So one of the first things you need to ask yourself are what kind of zombies are these? Slow zombies or fast zombies? My answer for that, in my realistic vision of the zombie apocalypse, is they're both. It really depends on the state or the condition of the body when it turns and becomes a zombie. Um, I don't think zombies should be fast if they have broken legs, if they're missing a leg. That doesn't make sense. I don't like zombies with superpowers. That's really, really pushing it. Maybe like when older people die and become zombies, they should be slower as well. Because zombie is really just an animated corpse. So if the corpse is decayed and broken down, then it really shouldn't move with great speed. But a little kid zombie? Little kid zombies are basically always fast because little kids are creepy on their own, but like dead zombie kids are probably the creepiest thing you can encounter. So if the zombie apocalypse started today, what would I do? First of all, I would completely hole up here. It's a great spot. My apartment complex is gated. There's maybe like 10 other apartments here, not a whole lot of people. Most of them are older folks. So I would definitely just like fortify my apartment now. There's no reason going out there and trying to get supplies and weapons and everything like that, because that's what everybody's gonna be doing. And that's when things are going to get really chaotic and you won't be able to tell like which person is a person and which is a zombie, what's going on. People are gonna be freaked out. They're gonna be shooting everybody that moves. They're gonna be overreacting. It's gonna be a madhouse. So it's best if you just stay home and board up your house. You've got weapons already. You've got weapons that you don't even know you can use as weapons. So might as well just pull those out. You've probably already got food. You might not have enough to last very long, but I would probably stay here completely boarded up for a few days, maybe about a week. Throughout that week, of course, I'd be listening to the things going on around me so I can kind of calculate how many of my my neighbors are still alive, which ones have already died out in the courtyard or anything like that. That way, after the week ends and I do need food or I do need, do need to go get supplies, I can kind of tell how many people I, or zombies I'll be fighting outside. I would rather deal with the 20-something people slash zombies that are in my apartment complex than the hundreds and thousands and millions that are out past my apartment complex gates. So I would definitely go through and loot everybody's apartments here. My weapon of choice, this is a little difficult and a lot of people are very passionate about their decisions on this. I would have to say, I would want a gun. I know guns are silly because they're loud and because they need bullets to actually work. But when they do have bullets, they are the ultimate like zombie stopping machine. And I'm a really, really good shot. I've been shooting for a few years now and I know how to handle a gun, at least a handgun, anything bigger than that, and it kind of kicks my ass when I try to shoot it. But if you've got the gun and you've got the bullets, that is your best choice for a weapon in the zombie apocalypse. If I don't have a gun, or if I don't, I've run out of bullets, I would probably want to stick with a sword. I don't want a blunt weapon, because a blunt weapon is going to create a lot of splash damage, a lot of blood spatter, and that blood is going to get in your eyes, in your mouth, open wounds you might not even know you have, so I'd rather stick with as long range weapons as possible. Since I don't own a gun, I have to think about the weapons I already have in my house. Instantly, I think about my Kratos Blades of Chaos. Those would be awesome to go zombie slaughtering with, but they're extremely heavy and not very sharp. They're more heavy than they would be effective against the zombie. So, for my main weapon that I already own, I'm gonna go with my Lynx Master Sword. This thing is actually real metal and it's actually really pretty sharp so this i think is what i would pull out first in the zombie apocalypse 
But as a backup weapon or a secondary weapon, I'd probably use my Assassin's Creed Tomahawk. Um, it as well is real. It's a little heavy. It's pretty sharp. Plus, I really like this end as well because you can just smack a zombie in the temple with it and they're gone. Now for my overall plan of how to survive the entire zombie apocalypse and not just the first month or so, I would actually, and this is where it gets a little silly, I, I agree, um, I would be making my way to Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Not just because Disney World is my favorite place in the world, but if you know Disney World, you know they have a fully self-sustaining little city underneath the parks. Plus, the parks are incredibly gated and they have great security. They grow their own food in their own greenhouses. Like, seriously, Disney World could be self-sustaining for quite some time, at least for all the stuff underground. And even above ground, again, it's got such great security measures. I mean, you can't just kind of get into Disney World. You can't climb over a fence or find a hole in a fence. That's going to be pretty impossible. So that is definitely where I would go to kind of make my little home. I would go to Disney World and I would rule it. I would be the ruler of the Disney World Underground Zombie Apocalypse Survivor Guild. That is what it would be called. And I would be the ruler of it. And everybody living underneath me would have to wear Mickey ears every day. <laughs> That's how they show their allegiance. Some other people also talk about if they're going to be a lone wolf, if they won't want to team up. I would definitely want to team up with people. I mean, come on, you gotta, you gotta think about it. I am a girl in the zombie apocalypse. I do not want to be out there alone. I need to team up with people I trust and team up with people that I feel I am very, very safe with. And that is one reason also why you should, with all of your friends, not just a zombie apocalypse plan, but you should, guys should have, look, in the event of a world-changing catastrophe, be it a giant earthquake or the zombie apocalypse, you guys should have a meeting point. This is where we will meet this so many hours after the event and that way you can team up with people you actually trust and you guys know where you can meet up and get through the event or the world changing catastrophe together. If you do that, you always know that when something like this goes down, you've got people who've got your back. Well guys, that is it for my zombie apocalypse survival plan. And guys, please let me know down in the comments, what is your zombie survival plan? Where are you gonna go? What is your weapon of choice and why? As always, thanks for watching.